Christine Watkins is one of the person who was saved from death when Mary asked her son to save her. She is today among us. She will share her dramatic story of miracles healing and amazing testimony of conversion to Catholicism. Christine, I welcome you to our Croatian Catholic Church Assumption of Mary. Please come. Thank you for having me here. I'm here to share my conversion testimony of healing. And it's a perfect day to share it because today is Divine Mercy Sunday. And the mercy that was showered upon me was tremendous. And it reveals the mercy that God has for all of us. Because I lived most of my life really messing everything up. And I had no idea that I was doing anything wrong. Somewhere along the line, I'd taken a wrong turn. Because growing up, I didn't know there was a God. And I loved ballet, though. So for me, I practiced ballet diligently for years, and it kind of became my God, because I had nothing else that I could really turn to for hope and for comfort that gave me that kind of satisfaction. And I became a dancer professionally with the San Francisco Ballet Company, and I loved it. And then, when I was pretty young, I got injured, and I had three foot operations. And that ended my career. But what that also did was that ended the only God I ever really knew. And I grew depressed, and I lost hope. And in my despair, I looked to intimate relationships for comfort. And I sunk deeper and deeper and deeper into sin. I felt temporarily filled with life when I was in a relationship. But when that relationship inevitably failed, I was left with a larger, darker, empty hole inside of me. And I never once thought to change my behavior. And one summer, I ended up very, very sick with cervical cancer. As it turned out, I had very little time left to live. My hair was falling out. I was bleeding internally. I had no energy to even walk across the street. But worse than being sick inside my body, I felt so sick inside my soul. At times, I would just cry out in guttural despair. And sometimes the tears, when they'd come, they wouldn't stop. And they were not tears of healing. And I was always looking outside of myself for inner peace. And I found myself absorbed in the New Age movement. And it would promise me something, and I'd grab it. And I'd think, that's it. I found it. I found something that'll lead to nirvana and then I would be left empty-handed. And then it would promise something else, and I'd grab that, and i think, oh, that's it. That's going to help me. That's going to save me. And it would fall out of my hands again. And I wanted nothing to do with Jesus and Mary. In fact, I once saw an image of them, and I wanted it taken down. The darkness inside of me was so disturbed by just their images. And a friend of mine gave me this self-help book to read that his mother had written. And I told him, I said, you know, this book is really good, but there's one name in here that I find really offensive, and I think it needs to be taken out. It's the name Jesus. I said, otherwise, it's an okay book. Please tell your mom. <laughs> so I hated the names and images of our Lord and his mother. But Jesus decided to save me a sinner. I shouldn't even be alive. I don't even know why I'm here. But in one moment, I felt this beautiful presence around me and within me. And I heard this loud pop. And a friend of mine who was praying for me at that moment said he sensed Mother Mary came to me took pity on me, 
and asked her son to save me. And I knew after that that the cancer was gone, that I should sin no more. And shortly after that, I knew I was called to join the Catholic Church, a church I'd never stepped foot in. I had hated them, but they'd always loved me. And shortly after that, I remember hearing this beautiful symphony. And I wondered where this music was coming from. I was in my friend's room, and I opened the door to his room. I poked my ear out, and I couldn't hear anything. I opened the windows. I thought, well, it's not coming from outside. Where is it coming from? And then I even looked under his bed, thinking maybe the clock radio had fallen, and there was music. And I sat down bewildered, and I thought, well, where's this beautiful music coming from? And I realized, oh, my. This music is coming from inside of me. And heaven is rejoicing because just one sinner was saved. So I quickly joined the church after that. And I haven't doubted the existence of Jesus or Mary since. I am amazed by God's mercy. God can be hated, but he doesn't know how to do anything else but love us right back. And I now know where mortal sin leads, and I never, ever want to go there again. And my life isn't mine anymore. It's God's, and it was God's life all along. And for me, being a Christian, it means everything. It means the difference between life and death. Thank you, Christine, for sharing the story with us. May God bless you and your work of spreading God's love through the Blessed Mary's intercession.